Hello, Tampa Bay. Andrew Duncan of the Duncan Duo at Remax, official real estate agents of the Tampa Bay Lightning. And I am joined by Robert Johnson, president of the Duncan Duo. And my co host every Sunday at 10 for the Duncan Duo radio show on 970 WFLA News. Today, we're talking about the 2020 housing market. You're probably going to see a lot of national media talk about predictions for the 2020 housing market, but we're going to talk today only about Tampa Bay. So that's what matters to us most. So first and foremost, I think we, we're both expecting to see a good amount of appreciation, uh, home values increasing uh, in 2020. Yeah, absolutely. And not just, you know, locally, but that is the national sentiment as well. You know, home prices and home appreciation is going to continue to go up in the new year. Maybe not as drastic as it has been, but it's interesting that um, inventory is seen to go lower. Okay and appreciation is seen to go higher. So that's, right. that's definitely- important. Interest rates gonna to continue to remain low. The Fed recently just chose to not raise or uh, lower interest rates. I think we're gonna to continue to see record lows and great affordability, because as the prices have, have risen, interest rates have stayed low or even gotten lower to keep affordability uh, in check, which is a great blessing. The other great thing about Tampa Bay that's gonna to continue to drive our market to outperform a lot of markets across the country is an increase in population. Um, we have a lot of great businesses moving here, a lot of development happening, you know, new construction home builders with record high confidence. Um, but there's so many great things going on in Tampa Bay that are going to continue to keep uh, you know, Tampa Bay's real estate market thriving. Yeah, and I think one of the things that's not talked about as often is I actually think the condo market's going to continue to loosen up and get better over the next year, and really over the foreseeable future, because in our market alone, it has never recovered the way other markets have. Correct. So I think the only way to go with that is up. And I think that that's going to be And a, great a lot of the mortgage lenders are now getting more uh, relaxed with condos. Uh, you, you, we saw recently where Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, VA, FHA all raised their loan limits. Um, and they're also loosening requirements for condos. The biggest holdback in the condo market has been the ability to get financing specifically with millennials, which would be mm -hmm. the target of who would want to live in a maintenance-free community, um, you know, struggling to have the down payment money required in a lot of communities that's starting to, to relax. So again, I think uh, we're gonna see a great 2020 in our housing market. We're gonna see some development in 2020. We're gonna see some new condo towers getting released and sold. We're going to see a uh, population rise. Uh, Tampa Bay is making improvements in the infrastructure. Um, so overall, um, you know, I think 2020 is going to be, uh, you know, have a lot of similarities to 2019. Some differences being, uh, you know, the condo market, new condos hitting the market, um, you know, and, and again, uh, continuing to see a massive amount of people want to move. And, and if you're watching this from up north uh, today, it's 80 degrees here and it may be snowing, it may be cold, but that's another reason why Tampa Bay continues to be attractive and why our market's going to outperform others. There are people predicting maybe a slowdown in some of the other markets in Florida, like Miami, for example. Uh, Miami has long been a, a dominant real estate market in the country. A lot of outside of the country investment um, and, and a, lot of, um, a lot of growth. Um, but we're very affordable when you compare us to, to Miami, which continues to make us attractive. Yeah, absolutely. We don't have a lot of that outside investor money, especially from foreigners coming into our market. So a lot of our growth is really U.S. growth. It's and been people, organic. Absolutely. Yeah. Families moving here and, and that sort of thing. And obviously having a, you know, a stone's throw away from where we are right now recording this video, McDill Air Force Base being our largest employer continuing. Uh, you know, to grow the military and, and continue to see people PCS to, to Tampa will also keep our real estate market thriving. So those are our 2020 housing predictions. For more real estate information, videos, uh, and, and snapshots of the market, make sure to follow all of our socials. We are at The Duncan Duo, just about everywhere there is a social media channel. And uh, thanks so much for tuning in.